Hello, how to solve t to the power of t equals 19? We are solving for the value of t that will satisfy this equation. That means the value of t that you raise to the power of itself that will give you 19. So for instance, if you have 1 to the power of 1, this is 1. If you consider 2 to the power of 2, this is 4. If you consider 3 to the power of 3, this is 27. Now. 4 is obviously less than 19. That means 2 power 2 is less than 19. And 3 power 3 is giving us 27, which is greater than 19. So we can say that the range of values of t is 2 is less than t, while t is less than 3. Because 3 power 3 is giving us 27, that is greater than 19. And 2 power 2 is giving us 4, which is less than 19. Now we cannot start considering maybe 2.1 to the power of 2.1, 2.2. We cannot be doing that. So, what we are going to do is we are going to solve this problem using the Lambert Dory function. And let's find out the solution that will give us this particular answer. So, without wasting much time, let's get started. I can start by making use of natural log. I have the natural log of t to the power of t equals natural log of 19. Now, we apply the logarithm property. If you have log of a to the power of b, this equals b times log a. So, natural log of t to the power of t will simply give us t times natural log of t. And this equals natural log of 19. Now, at this point, what you are going to do will be to multiply this out t times ln of t, that is t ln t equals ln 19. What are we going to do? We need to solve this problem. And for us to solve this, we are going to make use of the Lambert Ray function. And the Lambert Ray function is represented using capital letter W. So when you see this, it is called the Lambert Ray function. And this function is applied to an expression such as A times E power A. And when once you apply the Lambert Ray function in an expression like this, the answer will be A. So this is how it works. You can also apply it. If you have a number, maybe 3 times e power of 3. And this will give you the solution as 3. So it must be in the form of this. 3 times e power 3. A times e power A. Or any object at all. Maybe if you have the Lambert Ray function of maybe a fish. Times e power another fish. What you are getting will be a fish. So you see how this thing works? It's an interesting function. Now, we have this function in this equation here. t times ln t equals ln 19. And for us to make use of this Lambert Dory function, we are going to convert this expression to this form. So let's write it out here. We have t times ln t equals ln 19. Now, what we are going to do next will be for us to convert this expression to this form, we are going to consider rewriting this t as e power ln t. Now, the t here can be re re rewritten as e power ln t because the e can eliminate the ln, and what you are going to have is t. So, e power ln t is the same thing as writing t. So that is what one trick we are going to consider because we are trying to model this expression in this form. So we are going to make use of any form of idea. So the t will be replaced with e power ln t. So this part of the equation becomes e power ln t times ln t, the ln t here, equals ln 19. Have you seen it? 
So what we have just done so far is replacing T with e power ln T and we have it like this. Now we are just going to rearrange it. The ln T will come first before e power ln T. So we have ln T times e power ln T equals ln 19. Now at this point, if you look at this model for lambda Dory function, it is a three times e power three, a times e power a, a fish times e power a fish. Then this is quite very correct because the ln t is exactly what we have here. So we can then apply the lambda Dory function at this point. So we have the lambda Dory function represented using capital letter W of ln t times e power ln t. And this equals because we have it here, we also have it here. The lambda Dory function of ln 19. Now, like what I said earlier on that, when once you apply the lambda Dory function in a, an expression like this, the output will definitely be what you have here. So you have ln t as the output, which equals the lambda Dory function of ln 19. Now, we are solving for t, so we need to isolate t. So for us to achieve that, we need to eliminate this ln. And for us to get that, we are going to make use of e, just like what we did earlier on. We have e power ln t equals e power, the lambda Dory function of ln 19. And what you should know is that e will likely eliminate the ln because e power ln is 1. So e will cancel out the ln, so we have t left. We have t equals e power, the lambda Dory function of ln. 19. So this is our solution. Now for you to gain the value of t that will satisfy that equation is you simply input this into your calculator. You have e power. You might not likely see this lambda Dory function like this w, but what you are going to see might be product log. So I'm learning for lambda Dory function is product log. So you can easily see product log. You have the product times log. That is the product log of natural log of 19. So you definitely see natural log. So you have e raised to the product or e raised to the power of product log of natural log of 19. So when once you type in this into your calculator, this will give you an approximate value of t. So you are going to have. 2.83023. This is into five decimal places. So that means this is the value of t that will satisfy that equation. So if you have t power t equals 19, it means 2.83023 raised to the power of 2.83. 0, 2, 3 will give you an approximate value of 19. So that is it, and this becomes the value that we have been looking for. And you can see if you are being tested, you might find it very difficult to get that particular value. So that is it, and don't forget to share this video. Thank you, and goodbye.